This is Co Free with RobinHoodsPlayground.com. I'm gonna make a video real quick on how to flash in the 0800 firmware into a V28, which will be pretty much identical if you was gonna do a BenQ, into a V28 drive. So you mount it to your computer and rip your games that way. So the first thing I've done, I've done a few steps ahead just for time. I'm going to be using the iPrep 6.2. I've loaded in the old iExtreme 1.4 firmware just to throw something in there. Put a check and patch MTK. List your target drive. Put a check. Format make bootable. And I formatted the drive. The iPrep part is done. I've already done that real quick. If we go into the my computer to iprep in the backups folder i have made a folder with seven numbers it don't matter what you use as long as you remember them when we start to flash i just use one two three four five six seven in that folder i made one two three four five and in there we're going to put the 0800 firmware now i've started up jungle flasher 1.51 beta the new one I'm going to load source firmware which I'm just going to get any V28 I'm just getting a V28 firmware it's asking me if I want to auto load the new iExtreme Samsung which I don't now open target firmware is going to be the 0800 I've opened it up. The 0800 was the MS25. We're actually using the 28. So we're going to spoof source to target. So it spoofed it as a 28. Now we want to save to file. Need to rename it Sam dash cfw dot bin now we're done with jungle Fire. we want to go to that saved sam dash cfw and we want to copy that and we want to put it in the iprep usb flash drive we just made in the backups one two three four five six seven one two three four five and put a copy of that in there. That's what we're actually flashing this drive. Now we want to power down and boot up on the flash. I just used the 6.2 iPrep. It's, a lot of people are familiar with it. It's easy. It's out there. Now we want to boot up on the flash drive. Once you get to here, get everything hooked up. Like always, I'm using a connectivity kit, the power to drive. I have the SATA cable hooked up to it. Here we're going to hit Y that we accept. At this point, if this drive is for your console, if this is the only drive you have, you have to make sure you have dumped this and you know you 100% you have a good key for this drive as long as you used your original firmware in Google flasher your key will still be in this 0800 but you just can't count on that you've got to know you've got a backup of it somewhere this is an extra drive that I've just got so I really don't care I just move something in the key is not really relevant to mounting it to the computer to dump a game all right, once you get here, we're going to flash SAM or F SAM, F SAM, space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, space one, two, three, four, five. Hit enter. Now it's saying make sure your drive is turned on. Press any key to continue. Some of you may remember we've got to do the 10 second trick using this particular iPrep. 
Now we want to power the drive off. The iExtreme Prime Master, of course, is our drive. That's three. So we want to hit three and give it 10 seconds, a heavy 10 seconds. Turn it on. It's flashing the drive now, and that is that 0800 firmware going in. I just want to take a second and thank everybody that's involved in all this, Clutch for his eye prep, the 0800 firmware, just everybody involved. I want to say thanks. All of us out here really appreciate it. Once you get to here and now you power down, and this drive has been now flashed with the 0800 firmware and should mount up on a PC when you restart it. Do some rearranging. Now I have it hooked up with a connectivity kit. Still, I've got it powered on, and I'm firing up this computer with the SATA hooked up to it. The window should start. You can see I've just got it setting on top of the case here. I had the drive actually powered up before the computer on. Some people could have some problems with it mounting. So far it's been doing fine on this PC. I do have one PC that I have to actually hot plug it in right there. That Windows loading bar, I have to plug it in at that point or it won't freeze it up. Lock up the computer. It should pop up that it finds new hardware. I've done this twice so it's already got it here. Once you get here, your Xbox backup creator. Get it started up. You'll see that's the SHD162C. Now you'll see that the TSH943A M28 I don't know if you can see that. That is our drive that's mounted to this computer now. So once we get here, it's just like normal. Just eject your drive, put your original in, a second to spin up. Once it gets ready to go, you've got your complete backup. Click start. Where you want to save your rip to. Name it. We'll name it test. Hit save. And there it goes. It starts. It's doing its backup. Then you can always flash this drive back to its original state or its iExtreme flash state so you can put it in your console to play your backed up games. I'm doing this video mainly because so many people are buying the V28s and the BenQ drives and all that stuff to do their backups with so I just thought this might help out. 